Hello everyone. So in this lecture, we are going to talk about carbon cycle. So the circulation of the carbon on earth is very important. The reason being that plants, they take up carbon dioxide from the atmosphere for producing food material by the process of photosynthesis. So carbon is present in the atmosphere and this has to be circulated in the nature. And that happens via the biogeochemical cycle that is the carbon cycle. So there are basically four primary stages in the carbon cycle. The first stage involves the role of primary producers, which means that the ones that are responsible for the production of food material like plants. The second stage involves the role of primary consumers, which means that the immediate uh, animals which are in the food chain, which are going to feed onto the plants for nutrition. And the third stage involves decomposition, which we will be talking about. And the fourth stage involves combustion. So as you know that the carbon dioxide is present in the atmosphere, so this carbon dioxide is taken up by the plants in the presence of sunlight, the process of photosynthesis happens. So these are the primary producers. So carbon dioxide is taken up, photosynthesis process takes place and plants produce food material. Now, these plants also undergo respiration process. They also do respiration. So when the plants respire, the carbon dioxide is also released in the air, right? So now this first step that we just talked about where the carbon dioxide is being taken up by the plants, this is the foundation stage of the carbon cycle. So the plants, which are the primary producers, they are also involved in the carbon cycle in another manner where they are releasing the carbon dioxide back in the air, right? So this was about the first stage. Now talking about the second stage, which is the role of the primary consumers. So the primary consumers, which include certain animals like cows and horses, uh, they use the plants as their food material for obtaining nutrition. Now, when these animals, they feed onto the plants, the carbon gets fixed into their bodies as organic carbon, right? And this specific phenomena is known as carbon fixation step. So the stage two can also be called as carbon fixation, right? Now, these animals, they also respire. And when they respire, carbon dioxide is again released back into the air. So this is the second stage where the primary consumers are involved in this cycle. The next stage is the role of feeders. Feeders are basically uh, the microorganisms or uh, like bacteria and fungi, which are basically involved in the decomposition of the dead and decaying uh, bodies, like animal bodies and the plant bodies. So once the plants and the animals, they die, the fixed organic carbon, which was present in them, it is released back into the atmosphere in the form of carbon dioxide, right? How does it happen? By the process of decomposition. So this is the stage number three. And who do they, uh, what kind of microorganisms are responsible for these decomposition? These include various bacteria and various fungi. So they feed onto these dead animals and plants and carbon dioxide, which is released, it is, uh, taken back to the atmosphere in the next stage. Now, there are a lot of, uh, there is a lot of carbon that is left over in the body, which is not decomposed at the first step. So the, this leftover carbon of the dead organisms after decay, it becomes fossil fuel, which takes uh, place in several years. So several years are taken uh, to convert this uh, remaining carbon of the dead and decaying matter into fossil fuels. Right, so this is the fourth stage. So this stage is known as the combustion. So what basically means combustion? Combustion is the release of carbon dioxide when these fossils and fossil fuels are burnt, right? So over the many years, the carbon that has been accumulated in the form of fossils, when it is burnt, the combustion, basically the process, it releases the carbon stored in them back into the atmosphere, right? So these fossil fuels, uh, when these are uh, uh, like burned or the combustion process takes place, the carbon dioxide is released back into the air. And this completes the carbon cycle. So there are four stages. One, two, three, four. First involves the primary producers, which produce food uh, by the process of photosynthesis, which involves mm -hmm. plants. They take up the carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. They also respire to release the carbon dioxide back in the air. The carbon that is present in the plants, it is taken up 
in the form of uh, by the process of carbon fixation by the primary consumers like various animals and then the dead animals and dead plants they get into the soil and decomposition process takes place on them and that is happening due to the presence of feeders which includes various bacteria and various fungi and this decomposition also leads to the release of carbon dioxide into the air also the carbon that is left in the leftover uh, dead matter that gets converted into fossils and fossil fuels over a span of several years and when these fossils and fossil fuels are burnt by the process of combustion in the stage 4 again carbon dioxide is released and carbon dioxide gets into the atmosphere so this is like a cycle so this cycle is responsible for the circulation of the carbon from one place to another so that's it for today's lecture thank you